And now back to the Tim Ridley Show. 36 minutes past the hour. This is Tim Ridley on Sirius XM 146. And it is time for Miles Back with the American Truck Historical Society. Marty Glom is with us, our good friend, is the president at the ATHS. And also Brad Patterson is with us. Brad is the director of membership, chapters, and volunteers at the American Truck Historical Society. Marty, good morning to you. Mr. Ridley, sir, good morning. How y'all doing, my friend? We are doing great, brother. How about you? Very well, thanks. Well, fantastic. Brad, good morning to you, brother. Good morning, Tim. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you as well. Great having you both on, of course, and looking forward to hearing all about what's going on and, of course, get an update on the upcoming uh, truck show and convention. So, Marty, let's start with you. So you go right ahead and take the wheel. Well, thanks, Tim. Um, yeah, we're just really pleased to have Brad with us at ATHS. He does a fantastic job uh, with our members and our chapters. And, gosh, he's uh, the liaison for a couple committees, you know, our uh, meet and greet committee and volunteers, which is a huge thing. You know, I just uh, just saw a post this morning on social media. Um, you know, we're we're all volunteers. I mean, Brad's an employee of ATHS, but everybody else <laughs> that, that um, serves, such as myself, we're all volunteers. There's, we do it because we love the trucks, because we love the people, because we believe in our mission and. And, you know, Brad has done a really good job with our, with our membership and with our chapters and helping us purvey that message to them. And, and uh, he's going to talk to us about that a little bit and um, give us a little insight on the website and our events calendar and all the stuff that's coming up this summer. You know, it's, uh, yeah, everybody's anxious. I am for sure. Um, it's truck show time and, and, uh, so glad that time of year is here finally. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's almost like, you know, as a kid, you look forward to Christmas and it seems like it, it just doesn't get there as, uh, quickly <laughs> as we wanted it to. And it's the same thing with the, the annual convention, you know, and the truck show is the same way. And you look forward to being there and and also meeting friends that you have have never met you know you 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 may be right. strangers at first but you leave as friends <laughs> so it's, it's like a family either, reunion it, it, yeah, it, it certainly really is and certainly is and you know that i mean that calendar it, you you reference christmas and yeah we're all anxious just like at christmas and that calendar is kind of like the christmas catalog you know you can yeah see all the stuff that's going on in there, all the stuff that you want to do, where it's at, when it is, and who you need to contact if you have questions and stuff. It's just, it's turned into uh, kind of the go-to place um, for all of our chapter shows around the country. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of which, uh, Brad, a lot of, uh, some of our listeners may not even be aware of all of the chapters across the country that the ATHS has. Yeah, that's for sure. And Tim, ATHS is a you know historical society. It's a worldwide because we have members in Europe, we have members in Australia and Canada. But the whole essence of ATHS is what goes on at the local level. Um, Marty's heard me say this a bunch of times that from a membership development standpoint, I could send out. 25 things, um, great marketing materials, great in my own mind, great marketing materials for membership development, right? But none of it matters more than if you just simply asked me to come to a meeting. And I went locally, and I just met some of the best guys I've ever met in my life. And then I find out there's a truck show coming up. Goodness gracious. So, yeah, our chapters, there's 92 of them around the country and uh, in North America with uh, Australia as a chapter and also in uh, uh, three chapters in Canada. So, yeah, the chapters are very important. And as Marty said earlier, when you talk about the national 
board, the National Executive Committee, the National Committees. They're all volunteers. But so are all our chapter leaders, you know, the people that take on the president's job, the treasurer's job, you know. And they do it because they like doing it, but still they put in in just a great deal of time and effort on behalf of the trucking industry and the trucking profession and uh, ATHS. Yes, certainly. They certainly do. And everybody has a common goal is to preserve uh, the, the, the history of these, these old trucks and, and, you know, also not only that, but, uh, you know, the camaraderie that it brings forth as well. There's, I didn't take me long to kind of hone in on that. Um, we have, it, it sounds like a cliche, but it's on some of our marketing material. You know, you join for the trucks, you stay for the people. And that's why we have so many, um, long-time members and going back to what I earlier said the 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 stories are very similar i joined hehs back in whenever 1988 or 1992 or whatever it was and most of the stories have something to do with such and such asked me to come to this meeting and so that's why when you talk about the truck show schedule you've got on people plan their summers around some of the truck shows and so on the ATHS.org website you can go to our calendar and just check out oh there's one in my area this week that I that I forgot about or you can set your whole calendar for the national show in York Pennsylvania coming up in June or later in the summer at uh, Iowa at Walcott uh, you know you, you you start plotting those things months months in advance so I think that's a service, a big service we provide for everybody. You don't even have to be a member to be able to get onto the calendar. We're going to pull over and take us a break. Marty Glom is with us, along with Brad Patterson. This is Tim Ridley on Sirius XM. And you can give us a call if you have a question for Marty or Brad at 615-292-6366. And if it's easier for you to submit that via email, my email is Tim at RadioNemo.com. It's easier to wait to let someone else take the lead. That's not the way at Volvo Trucks. Volvo saw the opportunity for a safer, more fuel-efficient, more driver-focused solution. So they charged ahead, creating the truck of tomorrow, today. Introducing the all-new Volvo VNL, designed to change everything. See it now at volvotrucks.us. If you get pulled over for a moving violation, don't tell them this. You want to know how fast I was going? You're the expert. You tell me. If you're in an accident, don't ever tell them this. It's all my fault. I'm totally to blame. I take full responsibility. And never tell a trooper this. I'm friends with your boss's second cousin on his wife's side of the family. Oh, Lord. I know some folks. Don't tell them that. Tell them the attorneys at Driver's Legal Plan are representing you. Reasonable prices, outstanding coverage. Call 800 580 8789 or radionemo.com. Click on sponsors for Driver's Legal Plan. Driver's Legal Plan, Driver's Legal Plan. Don't tell them. For God's sake, don't tell them anything but Driver's Legal Plan. Don't say nothing else. The Joshua Chamberlain Society is unlike any other veterans organization. It's truly a family, and I know that firsthand from working with them myself. Their mission is to make wounded veterans and families of deceased veterans feel the support and appreciation of their community for life. Our veterans' injuries are permanent, and so is the JCS support. From monetary assistance like paying utility bills or college funds to helping our heroes find purpose, JCS is a family that surrounds and supports the heroes who have sacrificed so much. Learn Learn more and make your donation at chamberlainsociety.org. That's chamberlainsociety.org. Miles back, 
with Marty Glom and also Brad Patterson with the American Truck Historical Society. This is Tim Ridley on Sirius XM. Brad, I have a couple of emails for you. Uh, the first one, he wants to know if you have a, an old truck, and if so, can you tell us about it? I do not. The only old truck I had was a, a 1989 Mazda pickup, so I had to get rid of that after, after a long time. So, no, I did not come out of the trucking profession. So um, I did not, I've, I've quickly, uh, what am I trying to say here? I quickly embraced the whole tradition, the history, uh, and, again, I understand the passion our members have. Uh, but I did not come out of the trucking profession or um, have any old collection of uh, of trucks or anything. That 1989, though, I'm pretty sure it served its purpose through the years, didn't it? I literally ran it <laughs> into the ground, so uh, there wasn't anybody <laughs> going to buy it after I after it finally gave up the ghost. But yes, I got a lot of use out of that. All right, Brad. Well, the other email, he wants to know if he has to be a member in order to check out the classified ads. Uh, No, you can check out the classified ads in the magazine if you can find the magazine on the newsstand or if somebody gives you the magazine and you can get to some of the uh, magazine online but you won't be able to get it all. Okay. Now, as far as you, you started out, you were talking about the, um, about navigating, uh, the new website. I know that, you know, we do have a new website or the ATHS does and is, and I know it's, it's easier to navigate, but, uh, to some who are not really tech savvy, uh, what would be your suggestion in terms of finding, you know, going to different areas, uh, in terms of getting information on your website? And that's a great question, Tim, because we understand that, you know, we work on this every day. And so in some cases, it's become intuitive to you go here, and then if that happens, you click this and go there. We understand it's not intuitive to some of our members or to to, to a lot of other people. Best thing to do is to just get on to ATHS.org. Uh, you can search for it or just click in. You can even use the old the old uh, login, the H- H- HTTPS um, colon slash slash www.aths.org. And you can do this on a mobile device or you can do it on your home desktop. And then what you, what you said, uh, just kind of poke around. Um, you can't break anything. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You can't buy something without knowing about it. You're not. You're not going to get a bill from somebody. Um, and just go on and play with it. Uh, again, you can go to the events. For example, I've got the page up now. If you go to the the main page of hehs.org and you see some pretty cool pictures, you see some pretty cool pictures on the front, and then you scroll down. And you say, oh, that'd be nice. I, I'd like to read more about the backlog classified. So you can get on and see some of them, but you won't see the whole thing. And then there's all sorts of photos. Oh, wow, look at all the photos over here. What you need to know is that from the library standpoint, if you're a member, there are hundreds, thousands of old photographs of trucks. And you can get that on your desktop. On, on your desktop just by, again, becoming a member of ATHS. But let's stick to sort of the conversation this morning around events. You can go on and it says events up there on the uh, upper uh, part of the, uh, on the banner on the website, and you click on events, and it starts with April, and it starts with today. And you go down to 18, 19, well, wait a minute, there's something on in the 20th. The Palmetto, the Palmetto Upstate chapter has its chapter picnic on Saturday. Well, that's of interest to people in the Palmetto Upstate chapter, um, but that's just an example of what we put on our calendar because we want to make sure everybody knows what is going on at the chapter level. Um, and then also the ulterior motive is, is that other chapters find out that Palmetto Upstate is hosting a chapter picnic sort of at the start, if you will, of truck show season. 
Maybe we should do that. And then again, you're building the camaraderie, you're building the sense of community. So that's what I would do first for anybody is look to see, just go on the, go on the, the web page and you scroll down and you I guarantee you, because this has happened to me, um, I'm looking for something and then I click on, oh, look at that. And I click on that unit depth. And <laughs> two hours later, uh, you know, I still haven't gotten to where I was. I found all, I found all these great things on the on the ATHS uh, website. So yeah, and the pictures, again, in this day and age, the quality of the photos that we have on our website, I mean, it is light years from where it used to be. So you're going to be able to enjoy again a lot of the free stuff, and then that may make you decide to become a member, and then you can take advantage of everything. Absolutely. I uh, have another one that came in as well, uh, Brad. He wants to know if uh, for a person who wants to volunteer to help out at the truck shows, do they have to be a member or do you select? Can you can you uh, apply outside of being a member? Oh, yes, you sure you certainly can. Uh, we we uh, we have members, non-members. Uh, you're talking to the right guy. So Brad at ATHS. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's you made it right to, to the top. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, um, we've got we've got um, if, if you can envision, we've got a um, it's, it's not literally put on the wall, but it's a spreadsheet of all the volunteers from each shift for each day. Some of them have been doing this for 20 years, and Marty, Marty's one of them. Marty has other things to do at the show, but he's also a volunteer. His wife's a volunteer. You know what I mean? It's it's a family thing, and I think people, once they do volunteer all this at the show, all of a sudden they want to do that again next year. So, yes, just have uh, whoever the email is, just have them get to me at brad, B-R-A-D, at A-T-H-S dot org. You do not have to be a member. We will put you, we will try to accommodate. There's also a form online. You go under volunteer. You go you go to events. The HEHS National Convention and Truck Show. And then there's a click on volunteers, or volunteer. Sorry, volunteer. And then that'll get you a form you can fill out. Or again, if it's easier, just put an email. Tell me what there's I'll lay out the areas for whoever this is there's there's transport there's unloading there is hospitality there is HEHS uh, um, uh, the HEHS booth there's all sorts of volunteer opportunities and again I always stress you 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 not we're not scaring anybody off we you don't have to volunteer for three shifts a day for five days. You don't have to do that. Some people do do that. It's if you, if you have one three hour shift on Thursday afternoon, that's great. We'll be able to, we, we will be able to find a place for you. There's also on the forum, which I think is very important people. If you have any kind of, um, and if you're a little bit apprehensive about using computers, just mark that. We'll make sure that you're not in one of those positions. If you have any issues from a walking standpoint or standing in long for long periods of time, just click that box and we'll make sure you're not doing that. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, the, it, volunteers make the, the the national show. It's, I mean, I, I can't even begin to tell you how many volunteers and how many volunteer hours. And again, they seem to enjoy it. It's camaraderie. They're back every year, many of them. And so, yeah, tell that person to get to me, and we'll, we'll set we'll set them up. Okay, will do. And that's Brad at ATHS dot org, right? Correct. Okay. All right. Well, Marty, before we part the airways, June sixth through eighth will be here very soon. So, the <laughs> do you have any updates to give us as far as the truck show is concerned? Um, yeah, we're going to, uh, I mean, numbers are looking good. We've, we've got 350 ish, something like that pre registered, which is right on track with prior years. Um, post COVID anyway, you know, um, it's, it's a great venue. It's a beautiful place and the weather's, uh, pretty accommodating most of the time. And, 
there's going to be some uh, it's going to be some special opportunities there inside this year at the uh, at the uh, hall inside where uh, we've got indoor trucks parked. All of our vendor booths are there. It's going to be a, a special booth there for a couple of folks that are going to join us and for sure won't want to miss that. Um, yeah, and God, Tim, it, it, you, as you're well aware, <laughs> it takes a village to put that thing on, right? So yes, um, absolutely. anybody that would like to volunteer a couple hours at a time would be greatly appreciated. It, it makes it um, run so much smoother and, and uh, it's kind of fun, you know, like, you know, you repeat a couple of times and pretty soon, you know, you're part of the gang that does truck parking or that does traffic control or that does unloading or something like that. You look, you know, every, every convention, my group of friends is going to be there and we're going to, it's work. There's no doubt about it but we're going to darn sure have some fun at it too, you know? <laughs> and that always happens. And, and it never ceases to amaze me, uh, Marty and Brad. I mean, all the years that I've attended the truck shows and the conventions, uh, you know, seeing how well orchestrated it is. And I, and it's just mind boggling to me in terms of how you can bring this all together and make it run as smoothly as you do. It's it's just it's just amazing. Well, I appreciate that, Tim. I mean, we we always have challenges, um, and it is a big job. But we get better every year, right? <laughs> and or at least hope we do. That certainly our our goal is to get better every year. And yeah, it uh, you know it 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 goes pretty good usually. Um, couple of days uh during the week there we park over 400 trucks in a day um get them through registration get them through photo get them parked get everybody situated where they want to be that's that's a pretty sizable task and uh it usually works out pretty good so we appreciate everybody's patience sometimes those lines get a little bit long we know that um but we try and make it as smooth and uh as painless as we can. And not to mention running them through the truck wash as well, if need be. Right on, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get cleaned up. That's right. That's right. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> 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 for, more information, for more information on the American Truck Historical Society, you can go to www.aths.org. Brad, Thank you so much, brother. It was a pleasure having you on, and we appreciate you, and thank you for all you do. You're welcome, Tim. Uh, thank you. It was a great opportunity. I appreciate uh, it. Great talking to you. All right. And, Marty, always always great. Always great talking oh, to you yeah. as well, Marty. Always, Tim. Always. I enjoy it so much. And, Brad, thanks for getting up before breakfast, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> All right, and we appreciate each and every one of you as well, and thank you so much for stopping by the fellowship meeting and bringing laughter and joy into our morning, and we certainly look forward to talking to you tomorrow morning at 0400 Central on the Tim Ridley Show on Sirius XM 146. Be safe and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>